welcome to Let's Go Caching. As you saw in the last show, we showed it a couple of different containers that you can use for geocaching and make caches. We're going to use this Rubbermaid container in this show and set it and prep it and get it ready to go out in the field. So what we're going to do is camouflage it and get it prepped so we can go take it out in the field. But before that, we're going to go take a look at some geocaching. So let's go caching. <music> On the coastline of the Gulf of Mexico, we're in search of GC13ZT7. This cache was actually mentioned on Sunny and Sandy's uh, podcaster podcast just last week, two weeks ago. A um, little story mentioned about a guy from San Antonio took his brother down to see the beach. So if you heard about that story, we're going to go searching for that cache right now. Uh, let's go find it. Well, our search has brought us closer to the cache. Uh, we're hanging out at this kind of seaside park here in Corpus Christi. Um, tigers have tagged it and everything. There's a couple stones and shells here that people are doing some beach combing on the beach just right down below. Pretty cool place here in Corpus, so uh, let's search a little bit further. Like we got a lapel pin here from the 1903 Yuma County Water Users Association. A dime for some hardcore cash and um, a pirate coin. We find a lot of these around here. That's somebody's signature uh, move there. Looks like the log's been wet a little bit. Um, Container still looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and log our visit. Seeing the log, someone was here yesterday and today. So let's go ahead and log as the second person here today. And this is one of those caches that would have benefited from having the log in a Ziploc container. Um, so it preserves it a little bit better. But we'll go ahead and load everything back in. Doesn't look like there's anything that we need to trade for here. Make sure it seals up nice, just like it was before we got it. And make sure nobody's looking. Put the cash back where we found it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that cash. Um, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and take our plastic or Rubbermaid container here, and we're going to prep it to go ahead and put it out in the field. Now, first thing we need to do is camouflage it. And what we're able to do is find some rust colored or some brown colored primer. So we're gonna go ahead and prime it first before we put our camo paint on it. So that's what we're gonna get to work on. Well, now that we have our container primed up and ready for the final coat of camo paint, uh, we've chosen two different types of green and a kind of a rust color, it's called brown boots. So we're gonna go ahead and apply those and splotches on the outside so it fits into our natural environment. Now that we're done camouflaging our container here, we're gonna go ahead and add some of the items that we need to uh, put it out in the field. And what we have is our log book, pin already in, and then we have our little tag that we made. Um, we downloaded this from the geocaching website and I added two lines for uh, GC number and the name. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put that in there. We have a travel bug that we're going to 
toss in there along with a couple swag items that we're going to put in once we're out in the field. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and take a look at another cache here in the Corpus Christi area and we'll see y'all out in the field. Let's go cache. <music> Hi and welcome to GCN1895N. This happens to be one of mine and Kendra's first geocaches to place out in Corpus Christi. It is known as the Tool Lake Lookout. Today we're out doing a little bit of geocaching maintenance just to check on the cache. We come out about once a month to take a look and see what's going on. The reason why we place this cache here is that it's an estuary area um, right by the Corpus Christi ship channel. In the background you can see big ships and boats that come in and out to our refineries here. And to the north and south of us is some pretty big refineries. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cache and see how it's holding up. The Corpus Christi Bay and Estuaries system put this um, kind of bridge out over the water out here, a little boardwalk. And we kind of modified it, just put in a 2x4 board to hold our geocaching container. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside. Handcuffs, bounty ball, quarter, our Gaddy Town coupon for a free buffet is still in here from the get go. Uh, a gator of some sort. Just a sign that we were here. We're going to go ahead and roll the log back up, put the caching items back in, put this fabulous hot pink pin back in here. Look around, make sure nobody's really paying attention to us. Put the cash back in its original spot. Well, now that we're out in the field, we're going to go ahead and find a place to uh, hide our cash. We've kind of specked out the spot kind of close to our house. It's going to be easiest for us to maintain it and take care of it if there's any issues with it. So we're going to go in this brush and find a nice place to place this cache. Come on. Okay, well, what we've done is we've planted the cache at the base of this tree. We're going to kind of put some tree branches and stuff to hide it a little bit better. Although it is camouflage, it's good to kind of keep it hid from its surroundings. In our GPS, what we're going to go do is hit mark to mark this tree. And then we're going to go into the average mode. And what the average mode will do is take a several readings over time. So we're going to go ahead and hit it and leave it at the tree so it doesn't move. And we're going to go ahead and let that calculate for about a minute or so. So that way it takes a lot of readings, averages them in. So that way we have one specific set. Well, now that we've averaged all of our points, we have a pretty good um, coordinate on what we can log as the where the cache is actually located. <clears throat> what we'll do is go back to geocaching.com and mark the coordinates on a, the geocaching log site that we want to create this cache and submit it for review. Once it's reviewed, it will get published and people will be able to come out and find this cache. So good luck to you first time find uh, hounds out there wanting to find this one. Um, new one in the Corpus Christi area for you, so good luck. We put, put a travel bug in it and a lot of other swag that we went ahead and tucked away in there. And now we're going to go back to the studio to go ahead and take care of everything else. But that is about the end of our show today. We want to thank you for joining, joining us today. I'm Derek Perrin. And for Kendra behind the camera, I want to thank her for being part of the show and working the camera for us today. And with that in mind, let's go catch.